All right, so quick quick fight prediction here. Quick fight prediction here. Quick fight prediction here. This isn't one I'm going to spend too much time on. This is just a five-minute prediction, six-minute prediction video. So Keyshawn Davis and Jose Pedraza are going to be fighting on the undercard of Teofimo Lopez versus Jermaine Ortiz, from my understanding. Yo, hold on, hold on. What it is is a stepping stone fight for Keyshawn Davis. Um, if Pedraza was a little bit younger, I, I actually think this would be a much more of a 50-50 fight. But the fact of the matter is, uh, Jose Pedraza's 34 years old. He's been through a lot of wars, a lot of tough battles with Richard Calme, who he had a draw with. Jose Ramirez, who I thought he beat, but he didn't get the decision. That was a tough fight. He took a vicious beating from Lomachenko, and he took a pretty good beating from Tank Davis. And that's actually who Tank Davis won his first world title from. And the only title Tank Davis is, world title Tank Davis has ever won. Legitimately, at least. Anyways, um, but Pedraza's a grizzled veteran, as I've said. He's been in there with Loma. He's been in there with Tank Davis. He's been in there with Jose Ramirez, Jose Zapetta, Richard Calme, Arnold Barboza. And with the exception of Loma and Tank, he gave them all a pretty good fight. And he did give Tank a little bit of a good fight. He gave them all tough fights. And I've always been a fan of Jose Pedraza. Not because he's a great fighter. <coughs> Just because he has balls. He's in fun fights. And he has the willingness to fight whoever, whenever. Um, their dimensions are exactly the same. They're both 5'8", five, 5'8 eight, five, eight and a half, roughly the same. They both have a 70-inch reach, roughly. Keyshawn Davis is 24 years old. Pedraza is 34 years old. Um, like I say, Keyshawn Davis is orthodox. Pedraza is, you know, he's a little bit more ambidextrous. He, he can switch it. But, and, uh, you know, Keyshawn Davis has been getting built up by top rank a lot. I'm not really that high on him yet. I haven't seen what everybody else is seeing yet. Yes, I think he's skilled, but I think the jury's still out on Keyshawn Davis as far as I'm concerned. Um, he's 9-0 and with six knockouts. I don't think Keyshawn has that much power. He does have good skills, and he is, is a silver Olympic medalist. Um, so really, they're just using an old grizzled veteran like Jose Pedraza as a stepping stone for Keyshawn Davis to crack, you know, to get in, to get start getting fights that are in the top 10. And ultimately, man, it's a solid fight. I think Pedraza will put up a good effort as he always does. But Keyshawn Davis, even though I'm not too high on him, I think he's a little too skilled for Pedraza, especially at this stage of Pedraza's career. Like I said, if Pedraza was a little bit younger, I could see him giving Keyshawn a tougher fight. But right now, nah, bro. Keyshawn's, or, uh, excuse me, Pedraza's been in 100 wars with the list of guys I've just mentioned. Keyshawn Davis is fresher, younger, quicker. Um, like I say, I'm not crazy about Keyshawn Davis, but I do think he, has a, he is good enough to beat an over-the-hill Jose Pedraza. So, and like I say, I'm not even that crazy about Keyshawn Davis like some people are. But he should be able to beat Jose Pedraza in this one. Um, I don't think Keyshawn has much power, like I say. So I think Pedraza will give him, give him a couple of moments of success. But ultimately, man, I'd say Keyshawn Davis on a wide unanimous decision. It's obvious that they're just using Pedraza as a stepping stone at this point for Keyshawn. So... And like I say, Pedraza is a little bit over the hill. But I expect it to be somewhat competitive, but Keyshawn will win UD, easy money. Not much to see here, people. Please please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. My official predictions, Keyshawn Davis wins a fairly wide unanimous decision. God bless everybody.